us <laughs> um, because like it is the morning time but yes welcome back to my channel my little green birds and thank you for tuning in now this is a very very special special video that I am doing um, there is this kind of a lot of like meaning to uh, like a lot of meaning for me in particular in terms of this particular video um this is all about skincare of course and and yeah i mean we all know that um a lot of skincare can be not very inclusive and we all know that so let's not lie to ourselves and everything okay let's just keep it fucking real okay so um I started like researching on more POC skincare and to me I'm not really interested in Asian skincare because there's a lot of controversy and I don't care if people complain to me about this when I say that but I'm not a big fan of Asian skincare there is a huge 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 issue that I have with Asian skincare and um, I'm not gonna get too deep into that but we all know everyone tries being wannabe white regardless of all like a broad spectrum of people and everything i'm not saying ev i shouldn't really say everyone and all i mean it's just the way how mainstream media it doesn't matter what like country you're from or whatever it's always like if you're lighter and everything regardless if like you are like half white half black whatever or half white half asian and you just happen to have a lighter skin tone people are going to like obsess over you basically and i don't think that's really right i think that's like really morally wrong and it just sends a wrong message to so many people um but you know this is society and everything and I don't believe in conforming to that nonsense because then that means you are just following the herd basically and I myself I am just not interested in um, following anyone right now in terms of that um, remember and I need my coffee too um, so yeah thanks to Red Whale as usual my usual go-to since I've been living in Marin. What I have with me today is like, I have a bunch of products. I, because uh, there's this, uh, um, I guess it's like really weird. I am, I'm not really sure how long this video is going to be, okay? Because I already know people maybe might come for me or something like that when I say this, but, um, I identify myself as Blasian, okay? Um, I identify myself as half black and half Canton. So my mom is black and my dad is Cantonese. And um, I'm not trying to, I guess like I shouldn't say like, well, I don't know. I'm not trying to like go too in depth because I'm just trying to just keep everything more like all about the skincare but um sometimes i feel like it's kind of hard without going really far a little deeper than necessary and whatnot but um my mom is half white and half black and um she was born and raised in memphis tennessee she was born in tennessee uh but grew up in Memphis, so, so yeah, and she moved out here hella, hella long ago, and everything, met my dad, long story short, Blasian. For myself, I do not identify with the quarter, the 25% white side of me, whatever it may be, because I already, already did my ancestry and everything, from my mom's side, my mom's side, um, so I just don't identify with, with that, with the, because, like, the way how I have always been treated externally, okay, and it's always interesting, I just, like, as I got older, 
like like growing up was always not it, it wasn't really easy at all because the people around you some of the shit coming out of their mouth I'm just like okay like I the way how I was raised saying the n-word is like really awful and really bad and I have been called everything under the sun that you can think of, okay? And whether you believe me or not, you're not fucking me, and you did not grow up as me. So, whatever to you, if you don't believe me. So, it's just like really irritating. So, like, one of the things that I took to my advantage was, like, of course I would just, I would tell people what I have always identified as when I was younger. Um, and I think it was just really good, like, in a sense, because, like, people would be, like, very surprised when I would tell them. And I'm talking about even when I was, like, in middle school all the way up to high school. And then as I matured in age and everything, especially when I moved, um, outside of Sonoma County for the first time, when I moved to SF, that was when I was experiencing actually probably more racism than ever because all these fucking Asians, all these Asian people would just assume that I'm just like flat out Japanese, Chinese, whatever the hell and whatnot. And I just never really, I, I, like I was telling myself, I'm not gonna tell people what I am because like I wanna see what's going on with these people. And some of the shit coming out of their mouth, Jesus Christ, take the wheel. I was just like, yeah, like check no like bye and it's just crazy and even um i'm not saying like all asians are like that but dude like <laughs> passing more as asian if you want to say that um i don't like saying things such as that because i don't i dislike i, I hate that term that term passing um, I've always, like, identified myself as just being me. I have always have. I'm just being myself. I'm just Rodney. And that is my real name, obviously. But, um, it's just, like, so weird. Um, and in a time right now where we are politically, um, it is really interesting. Uh, I have been telling people over the past few years that I am racially ambiguous, okay? Um, I've had people ask me if I'm like half Asian and Italian, I've had people ask me if I'm half white, half Japanese, I've had people ask me if I'm Spaniard and Asian or whatever, and the only people who would get, ever get my ethnic background properly the one that I identify most as is always a barber. It's always a barber. <laughs> and that always, that always like warmed me. And of course it was actually like usually like a black barber. And um, I typically, most likely usually see a black barber. Um, and I'm like, you know, I have like this peanut shaped head and everything. And I'm like, I don't know how people cannot get the fucking program <laughs> that I am not all Asian. Asians don't have a peanut shaped head. They don't have that extra fold going on in the back of their head. I'm just like, dude, like, I mean, look at my hair texture. Jesus, this is not Asian. <laughs> it's not Asian at all. Um, my hair actually gets really curly and wavy. It's like, I get hella curls in the front of my head, like of my, the front of my hair, basically. And then the rest of my hair, it's like more wavy. And It'll be very rare if I ever show you guys a picture of my actual natural hair texture. Um, if I don't do anything to it, and if I just let it grow out, I can like tough it up almost like a fro. And uh, it's not gonna be as coarse. I mean, like my hair's pretty dry and thick, I guess, but just not right here, unfortunately. But yeah, so aside from that, um, we are just going to go right into what I have. So, like I said, I was looking for only black-owned skincare, and I still am on the search for black-owned skincare, and I'm being very selective with what I buy because I am trying to cater to a demographic that is upscale and also um, 
more realistic in terms of pricing because not everyone's going to want to spend an arm and a leg on the skincare that I love and that I use. Sometimes I'll buy something um, that is really inexpensive and people would be very surprised because because I'm just like it works so of course I'm gonna I'm going to like totally use it. <clears throat> so we are just gonna dive right into this because the minute I saw this one I was like hella shocked. So I'm, and let me like cover up my address because people are stalkers. <laughs> so this one right here, I am so stoked and excited. This is awesome. I never opened it. The minute I saw this, I was just like really surprised. So this is a um, sunscreen. Um, I was just like really, really, really surprised. So I'm opening for the first time, everyone. Ooh, oh my god, I, like I'm getting chills. It's so awesome. Like, it, it's like, yeah. Oh wow, they even wrote my name on the card. <laughs> they, I guess they gave me a card. That's so interesting. <laughs> so this is Black Girl Sunscreen um, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So there's a lot of things that really caught my attention about this. But before we get into that, I <clears throat> really want to open up this card and it says, I love the fact that it's all black and gold foil. Um, it says thank you on it. And it says, hello Rodney, thank you for your purchase. Enjoy black girl sunscreen on your face and body. Stay moisturized and protect your skin. I love the fact that they literally go out of their way to write, like, small little personal message. That is, like, really awesome. Like, really, really awesome. <laughs> like, you have, like, you have, like, no idea. So, basically, what caught my attention in terms of this product is the fact... So, one of the things that really caught my attention about this product um, was the name. I, at first, when I saw one ad, I didn't mean like, look at everything else. I was like, this better not be from, uh, like, from someone who's not POC at all. Like, I was actually, like, a little surprised by the name, but then when I, when I clicked on it, I was like, oh, oh, okay, that is what's up. So, basically, this is a oxybenzone and paraben free and this is also vegan okay i am all about vegan sunscreen and i have tried so many vegan sunscreens and one of the things that is just so annoying about them is that they do not like there is a hella hardcore white cast and sometimes it'll just like dry especially if you're doing like an aerosol version and everything without the alcohol it's just like it just does not blend into the skin. It, it, like, I felt like I was like massaging my arm, like doing really deep tissue just to like make it like blend into the skin. So, and also the fact that it's ultra sheer and fragrance free. I'm assuming there's a seal. Oh my God, I'm really excited. <laughs> Like, literally, extremely excited. Something actually sheer. That is a huge deal to me. So, this is a broad spectrum, and I'm really weird. I am all about scent-free, but when I asked them about the scent, how how much scent is actually in it and they said it does have like a light sunscreen smell which is kind of inevitable in a sense so we're gonna skin a, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to put that on but this is what the product looks like on my fingers okay okay let's see Okay, so I have this on. Oh my 
god, I love the fact that it's so light. <sighs> and that that is awesome. Oh my god. See? Are you are you seeing that? Vegan sunscreen. Literally like no no hazy cast, no none of that fucking bullshit. Wow. Oh my god. I love the fact that it is so light. Like, oh my god, even like the other 30%, um, like, sun sunscreens, like, they are not light at all. They are like heavy, they're full of chemicals, and I can't stand it. But this does come in a three fluid ounce, so 89 milliliters. Um, this does retail for, let me see, because like, I don't remember, um, how much it is. I bought, um, I bought this from their website. Um, I saw it on Instagram, so that's how I came across them, basically. $18.99. That is, like, literally everything. I would, like, buy this in a larger size if they offered it. They have no idea how much sunscreen <laughs> that I actually use for my face. Um, I've always used Jack Black, um moisturizing uh, moisturizer SPF 20 um, this is definitely something that I am going to use when I go on on my vacation in Hawaii um, later in August I guess like in a sense you can kind of say this is slightly more on the upscale side because the fact that it is $18.99 and this is only three fluid ounces I have no idea how how long this would last, but if let, let's just say if they came out with like an eight ounce like bottle, I am all about it. I don't care if it's like forty dollars or whatever because the last um, moisturizing SPF that I had, uh, which is by Jack Black, and that's the one that I predominantly use, that was like almost fifty dollars. So I am all about that. But that is literally specifically for the face. This is for full body and face. So. I already have moisturizer on. If you guys can hear the wind and the rain, it's because it is pretty ridiculous here in Marin County, SF Bay Area. So I'm going to put some on my face, okay? So there we go. This be, we're going to... We're going to try this. My face is gonna feel so moisturized. Kind of don't care, and I love the fact. I love the fact that it does not feel greasy. That is another thing. It does not feel greasy. Oh my god! I'm like, who needs a hydrosol right now? <laughs> because I'm like literally like dewy looking. That is so amazing. I am like hella obsessed. Obsessed. So, wow, I love that. I am just like so happy with that purchase right there. No, um, I will be doing a full get ready with me with this product, basically. So, um, my next thing on the list that I have okay, is from Cylon by Anim Labs. So when I was looking for POC sunscreen, might I add, never opened this yet. So at all, we're opening this together. Um, I was very surprised and this is a major huge thank you, okay? This is a major, major huge thank you to, like I said, this is a major huge thank you to Blake because when I saw this, I was like, my heart skipped a beat because I was just like, oh my god, this is like natural. It's made and founded by two POC men of color, um, Patrick and Blake. The person that I spoke to was um, Blake. I asked him personally in a DM on IG if I could get... Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, 
oh my god i'm like looking at the thank you card already and i'm just like oh my god it's like literally everything so this is what it looks like on the inside okay just to get an idea all these things i'm totally keeping um us keeping because like i'm totally cherishing all of this so this was from patrick he wrote that himself so i am like really i'm really really excited about that so we're gonna open this up let's move my wallet out of the way <laughs> let's move that nonsense out of the way my god i am so freaking excited oh my god so this is what it looks like so this is salem um by An um anim lab skincare set three by 50 milliliters so that's only 1.69 us fluid ounces okay so this i definitely consider on the more upscale high end the reason why I'm saying that is for the price factor, okay? Now, standard face washes, okay, they usually come in something like, well, this is pretty small too. I would definitely say that most standard face washes come in, like, let's say, a five ounce, okay? And it's like, like the ones that I usually buy typically, like let's just say like 22, 26, 30 dollars or whatever it may be, or even like eight ounces. And then it's like, what, maybe almost 40 dollars each face wash. But I remember when I was buying like just department store face washes from like Target or something like that, like those are only like 6.99. And then you're like getting an average of like five to six ounces, and but you're getting um a little under two fluid ounces okay so that is like a huge deal right there i am just saying like this is an upscale brand in my opinion but they are also indie so if you're indie you have smaller batches okay you are going to produce things in smaller quantities so <clears throat> I am not going to open this right off the bat because I am going to do a get ready with me using all of these products that you are seeing right now. I'm going to take a picture right now because this is like literally everything. Might I add, this is not sponsored, okay? They, I asked them, I gave them like my reason and my view basically on what i am trying to do and they could have easily just said no but they like literally gave it to me for free and i am very thankful for that i think that is literally amazing i am really excited just so you know the seal is still on okay um what i really love about this brand they are cruelty free which is what i really love hearing um, so what comes inside of this, so what comes inside of this, um, this set comes with three products. Number one, detoxifying facial wash, okay, and, um, comes with a hydrating toner, and then afterwards a clarifying moisturizer. So basically, after the moisturizer, I'll most likely be putting like a dab of SPF in that, um, just to help. Um, yes, that is what's up. I am all about that. I really am. I am literally all about that. Okay, so I'm so excited. Like, I'm gonna do that video relatively soon so the next one on the list okay I was I will admit I was a little hesitant and whatnot because I was just like okay 
because I'm trying to avoid like buying from brands that are just like toxic. What I mean by toxic, like toxic, toxic masculinity, just like all over the place or whatever. But I decided to buy this brand because after looking at reviews and just visually watching and seeing what's being posted, um, I decided to buy the brand and the brand is called Nature Boy Grooming Products. I'm just covering up my um, address and yes, I am like really stoked and excited. So it says quality handcrafted grooming products for men inspired by nature. So Nature Boy, I found them on Instagram along with, uh, right next to Salem because I was backtracking and stalking, um, <clears throat> stalking the company, like staring at, um, what they have posted in the past and whatever. And they did this awesome collaboration with Salon. So I am, well, I, I'm just like really excited because I was like, wow, two POC companies coming together as one, that is what's up. And I definitely would say that this is more on the upscale high-end side because of the price ranges um, for the product. And I'm actually kind of interested in buying their, their brushes, their beard brushes. And like I've said, I don't care that I don't have like a hardcore beard going on. I like having my head brushed <laughs> and also my beard brushed. But the beard brushes, they look really stellar and really awesome. Okay, so I literally just opened it. Oh my god, I love all the black packaging. That is what's up. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see what this has inside. So, what is this? Little, little card. Nature Boy Grooming Products. And I love the fact, like, has gold foil on the card and the roots have gold on them. So on the back it says Instagram, Nature Boy IG. Natural grooming products and advice for maintaining a healthier beard. Okay, that is what's up. Okay, so has this is really cool. I love the packaging. Like if you are going for high end, definitely they are doing that. I love it. On the back it says, thank you for choosing Nature Boy for your beard grooming needs. Enclosed, you will find all of the information you need to enjoy your investment. Salute to you. Jacob Quatend. I hope I said his name, Quatend or Quatend. I hope I said his name properly. Founder in chief artisan, Nature Boy grooming products. Okay. Let's see. I love the business card. It reminds me of how I do my business cards. It is thick and it's not flimsy. I am all about that. I am literally all about that. I love this card. I love their reiteration and the packaging it is very consistent. So the brand, Nature Boy was found was born what well, nature brand was born through a desire to solve a problem for taming a coarse beard we specialize in all natural products crafted to nourish soften and assist in the grooming of men's facial hair we work daily to supply quality products for bearded men everywhere while raising awareness of facial hair health and maintenance i love that now it says on the craftsmanship, our products are handcrafted in small batches to keep our natural goods as fresh for you as possible. We mix whip, pour, detail, assemble, finish, package, prep, and ship our goods under our headquarters. So that is what's up. So basically what I bought, okay. So what I bought, Okay, from Nature Boy. This is us my invoice. Okay, that's my invoice. You don't need to see that. We're gonna just open it up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am just like, I'm like deceased. 
<laughs> I'm literally deceased right now. Like, freaking A. I'm trying to avoid swearing so much and everything. Oh my god, I'm just like so excited. This is like literally everything right now. Like, jeez. <laughs> this is literally awesome. I just love the detail and I just feel like it's so luxurious already. It, like, the box feels heavy and I like that. I like feeling a heavy weight. Oh my god, this is literally just so awesome. Oh my god, and I love the fact that it's all made in California because I'm looking at it and it says made in California. <laughs> so, what I have in here. So, I am not going to open this because like I said, the this it's going to be a real first impressions, okay? Because the only thing that I opened so far is bl the Black Girl Sunscreen because I really wanted to see what that was all about. And I love the fact that it it's not heavy. It has that it has that SPF scent, but it's not heavy. And I am like obsessed and it doesn't feel greasy, and that is what's up. But okay, so what I have right here is Nature Boy Hydrating Leave-In Beard Conditioner. So like I said, I don't care that I have a small beard. I am all about maintaining it. I already have beard oil on and everything too. So that is what's up. I am all about maintaining um, hydration and all. I mean, like when I get my facials and everything, everyone's telling me how soft my beard is. So duh. <laughs> so this comes in a four fluid ounce. Okay. And yes. I am just so happy. Gluten-free, no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil. Thank God there's no petrochemicals in this because that's what's up. So this is a daily use that leaves the beard soft and nourished. And I was reading online um, on their IG page that um, you can, like, you use that and then use the beard oil. So. Like I said, I'm not going to open all of these items because that is going to be a separate video. So, Nature Boy Handmade Beard Balm. So, I'm so stoked about this. So, this beard balm, um, what is it called? Let me see. Because it says inside of here, the beard balm. It's a finishing touch. Uh, apply a light coat of beard balm thoroughly into your beard. Be sure to massage into the skin beneath the beard and help get the most out of the herbal benefits. Major key, repeat your process at night for a softer beard the next day. It makes a difference. That is for sure. They said to mix like the beard balm with like a little of the beard oil, I believe. I forget how much the the products are. Oh, if I did not mention, Ceylon is uh, I believe I swear to God, um, I I swear I said the pricing, but if I didn't, I am going to tell you now because like I said I definitely consider them on the more upscale side because of the amount that you're getting it for the whole skincare set it is $34.95 but individually they range basically for $14 each just so you know so I don't mind paying a lot more for skincare because you all know how I am um, now, when it comes down to Nature Boy, <laughs> I just love the, I love the name because it reminds me of the wrestler from back in the day. Okay, so the beard, where's the beard balm? So it's called Beard Balm Number One that I went over. This is twenty five dollars. No wait, this is twenty five dollars for Beard Balm Number One. And the beard leave-in conditioner is $25 as well. 
and I won't open this until later, but I loved the packaging that I would that I have been seeing online for the beard oil, okay? And this is only coming in one fluid ounce. Um, I believe that this is $25 as well. I believe so. Yeah, $25 too. And yes, I am just like so excited. You guys have like no idea like how excited I am to have all of these POC owned products right in front of me. This is literally everything. Um, it's gonna go, it's obviously working hand in hand um, with, uh, what's that brand called? Freaking Bevel. I love Bevel because they are black owned and I love that. So what I'm going to do in terms of that huge get ready with me video, I will shave my, my face with Bevel products, most likely. Go through this whole entire skincare routine. Oh my god, this is this is gonna be so fun and amazing. I'm just like trying to visualize like mentally like how am I gonna do all of this? And then also I will have I will create a morning routine and I will also create a night routine with these products because there are clinical skincare products that I want to add into this. So I would get that opti optimized result. So like, <laughs> yeah, even though I'm blazing and all, I'm just like so excited. Like everything is awesome and it's epic and I just can't wait. Like, oh my God. Um, all these products, like all of this all together is just like literally absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I am just so stoked and excited. Like I am just beyond happy. Like, I don't even know, like, words cannot describe the feeling that I have looking at all of this. Because, like, it, this, this is making me feel very connected um, in so many different ways. But, yeah. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this very special video of mine that I made. Um, I'm sorry about, like, the rant earlier, but I just feel like... In order for people to understand what I'm doing and saying, like, I feel like that was necessary to be said. And, yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can DM me on IG, FB, all the above. Leave some comments in the description of the box down below. Um, don't forget to follow me on all my other social media networks, Greenbird555 at gmail.com or just Greenbird555. you're already on YouTube. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.